Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Now today, the player pick that we're really looking for. Yesterday's player pick, the 95 plus, wasn't bad, but it still left a little bit to be desired because there's more than just footies cards in it. And that's what a lot of us are still chasing, those 99 footies. Well, today we should see a guarantee footies player pick. That's the hope, at least. And we have some proof from last year in FIFA 23 to back it up in terms of timing so we're going to take a look at that today what other player sbc we might be having because ea dropped a banger of a transfer player sbc yesterday could that continue or will they go back to the grades of the game icons and the last question of the day is what's fc25 news that we're going to learn today we've had so many leaks day after day we have card designs for goodness sake of winter wild cards leaked for fc25 we're going to cover that a little bit at the end of the video as well we're catching you guys up today today with all the stuff that's going on fc24 and 25 if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new now let's get into that sbc content that we had yesterday and we already kind of mentioned the player sbc because it was so good ricardo calafiori fondly known as cauliflower or the eerily similar lookalike the young maldini as some people are calling him it's the italian vibes isn't it well this is the type of transfer sbc that we were looking for forward to EA Sports. 98 rated card with 97 pace, 97 defending, and 99 physical for a left back or center back. And again, one of the biggest transfers in the window, of course, from the Italian side and the Serie A. Obviously had a great year in the Serie A and of course, shown bright at the Euros for that moment where he assisted that game winning goal. Like this guy is a big name transfer. These are the types of transfer cards that we have been wanting to see. He's got every defending play style except Bruiser. He's got aerial regular at least not aerial plus but aerial regular this is just a nice fun card to try out especially if you're an arsenal fan if you're italian if you just want to add somebody fun or complete an sbc even if it doesn't mean much to you just a fun sbc that you really wouldn't think you'd ever see otherwise an ultimate team 84 90 91 and 92 rated squads coming in at 231,000 coins of course very craftable not the most meta card ever but it doesn't have to be with these transfer sbcs it's all about the player with the new club links He's a footies premium card anyway, but it's all about the player with the new club links and just that sort of connection, especially for Arsenal fans and maybe Italian fans as well. Now, for me, I'm not doing this SBC, no shot, but I like what this means. EA's bringing another Julian Alvarez-esque SBC. I wouldn't say he's on the, the caliber of Julian Alvarez. He's four squads versus 13, but it's a step in the right direction as a solid 98 rated card from Arsenal, big club, big transfer, one of the bigger ones of the summer. We've had a lot of other transfers. This gives us hope that they can continue to put out some great transfer SBCs. Let's hope they keep sprinkling those in. Now, one thing I do want to notice is he did not have a Arsenal silver card in the game before getting this one. I don't believe Julian Alvarez had an Atletico Madrid one either. So that's just another confirmation that these cards, these players do not have to have their base versions updated to the new club to get a new special card. I think that's been known, but I know some of you guys in years past, we look for that. That is no longer a thing in this game. Now let's go to the other SBC, the big one from yesterday. It's the 95 plus player pick guys. They went for the rating upgrade. We talked about in yesterday's video. We weren't sure if they were going to add a one of five, that extra slot to the player pick and keep it 94 or go up and add a 95 rating to it, which they did. Now the weight on this is a little bit of the issue. The price is also a bit of an issue. 92, 92, it's craftable. 84 tens, 85 tens, it's pretty easy to get done. But at the same time, it does kind of stretch your club a little bit. With the 85 tens and 84 tens, you have to do them a couple more times to get those higher rated. It's just a little bit of extra effort for a player pick that doesn't honestly seem that better than the 94 plus. After opening a lot of these on stream yesterday, and we have them on the second channel as well if you want to check it out, we did get more 99s from the craft of these. But it really didn't seem like it was a lot more or that the weight was a lot better. Now, I will say, in the chase for the 99s and opening these player picks, we did see a lot more of the 97s and the 98s. Like, Kevin De Bruyne was popping like crazy from these yesterday. A lot more footies cards, like 97 and 98 rated footies. Especially some of the ones that aren't even in packs right now. Some of the re-release cards, uh, like, that are not in the re-release. Footies Team 4 and 5 were popping up from that. Some of the heroes. Um, some of the regular footies and footies premium cards. So... It's still worth it to do every single day, and we do like that. It's repeatable, what was it, four times or five times? 
every single day. At first, at Content Drop, it looked like that it was only going to be repeatable once and that we wouldn't be able to do it again for a week. But uh, that was just a glitch on the timer. We'll be able to do it again today. I think it was four times. I believe it was four. I don't think it was five. But it's still, it's still worth doing. It's your best player pick shot right now for especially those PTG Make Your Mark cards, Team of the Tournament cards that are not re-released if you're chasing any of those. But definitely the footies cards and some of those fodder PTGs, the weight was the highest on that. So still worth doing absolutely every day. But the 92 rated is just a little bit annoying, honestly. It's just a little bit annoying to get that high of a rating in the squad there. Now, for the rest of the content yesterday, there was really nothing else. No new objectives, no new anything crazy. Just another good day of grinding on the menus. I did add a couple new players to the squad if you saw there when I quickly clicked over it you may have seen one of them that's a new addition to the midfield I keep packing midfielders man I did pack a couple of attackers yesterday the footies cards were flowing now it's not the 99s that we're hoping to see but if you want to check that out that is in the second channel and we're going to continue to grind and craft to get as many of the high rated and collect them all if we possibly can but once again my pack pulls and I'm sure you guys are noticing this too they happen from packs like this where I don't even see them walk out I pack two tots cards from an 84 or an 85 times 10 and then boom and behind is like a 90 something rated footies card that was Declan Rice that was pretty high we're going to quick sell these just so we can open one more 84 times 10 but you guys get the vibe right sometimes the skip packs provide a pretty crazy surprise on the flip side of that so here's another one tots England CDN is that another Declan Rice that's going to be Zellem, pretty sure. Yeah, it's Zellem, and then another Tots on the flip. But you never know, like, what could be behind this? Okay, well, nothing good. Gurma, Zellem, Petit, Sasha, Bowie. But, you know, that's kind of the fun with the packs. I feel like I was skipping a lot of packs yesterday on stream, but you kind of need to watch the animation, at least for the first card, because you don't know who you're going to see. We still have three squads to go on Lom. It's the three lowest squads, and then we did make some progress on Eusebio. We're 7 of 23. I find myself not really chasing the icon picks, guys. Um... And I find myself wanting to do more of the 92 pluses after I do the 95 pluses. A lot of you guys were saying this in the stream. This 92 plus player pick is almost better than the 95 in a sense because you still feel like you have a chance at some of those higher rated cards like the 97s, 8s, and 9s. They do pop out of this occasionally and it's only an 89 rated squad times 2 instead of two 92 rated squads. So don't forget about this 92 plus pick. I should throw in a couple more of these. But when it comes to the icons, I'm just waiting for the SBCs to come out for like R9 unless I'm lucky enough to pack him because at the moment I'd rather chase the players that are not in the best of re-release and that's with this and the 95 plus allow us to do but that's also what hopefully the new player pick today will allow us to do today the footies guaranteed upgrade pack is going away i haven't even done it maybe i should i should probably try it out and get it done just because you never know but that is going away today and we should have replacing it a footies player pick now why do i say that because we haven't had anything saying a footies player pick could come out well this 94 plus footies player pick from last year in fifa 23 came out on this exact same Wednesday one year ago. It was the first time that we had the 94 plus footies player pick as well because before this, all we had was 94 shapeshifters or footies picks or we had 90 plus tots shapeshifters or footies picks or we had some footies guaranteed packs in here as well, but it was only uh, specific to footies after this 94 plus pick was dropped it was the 30th of august last year on a wednesday literally one year ago that's why i'm expecting it today ea like to repeat stuff in the end game all their minds right now anyway are on fc25 they're working on that um that's why it took the compensation for whatever mistake it was like two weeks ago it took them like two weeks to give people back to fodder for that one icon player pick the salva glitch right because they're just really busy on that stuff and that's why a lot of this content probably is a little bit of copy pasta but you know there's a little bit of that throughout the whole year anyway now in saying this I know we don't really have to prepare for SBC prices these days because of the state of fodder and the 84 and 85 tens, but this was a three squad SBC requirement last year, 89, 91, 92. And it feels like this year they're making the SBC requirements even higher rated. I mean, granted we have 93 and 94 rated squad requirements inside of the icon SBCs. I mean, they're probably going to make it a four squad requirement today. That's what I would put my expectation at. This footy's guaranteed is an 86 and an 88. So maybe it'll be a little cheaper than that. Maybe it'll be the same as last year, 89, 91, 92. And if they call it the 94 plus footies player pick, well, no impacts footies card has been below 95. So that's the minimum anyway. They could call it a 95 plus uh, footies pick and it wouldn't mean a thing. It's just kind of a number that's there to make it seem elite 
where it's just going to be the same as this footies guaranteed pack, but it will hopefully be an upgrade. Now, the key to this as well is if we can only do it one time, like this SBC is right here, this pack, it's going to be pretty mid. If we can do it multiple times, that's a dub. And if it refreshes, just like the 85 plus and the, sorry, the 95 plus and the 94 plus picks did the last two weeks, then that will be very, very nice. It'll be another player pick to add to our arsenal of upgrades that will give us chances at those upper echelon cards that we can continue our chase in a new way. So that's kind of all that it is there with that. EA, just treat us today. They've been opening the doors, opening the floodgates to the content. Just open this door, right? Right here, let us have this fun because it is, of course, the end game. And this is one of those pieces of content that we look forward to in the end game every single year. Now, also, player SBCs. We got to talk about that because... They've been kind of doing a little bit of a, I don't know, like a trend here. We've had a great to the game player. Then we've had a transfer player with Cali Fiori. Well, today we would be on another great to the game icon if they do continue that trend. Again, in my opinion, there's only two more, maybe three or four more at the max that they would really want to release. We're talking, um, we already had Vieira. We're talking Thierry Henry, maybe Roberto Carlos, maybe Mateus. And then I guess there's five. You have Zidane and Hullet. And of course you have R9, but there's no shot. Even for Zidane and Hullet, that doesn't seem like a Wednesday type of SBC. That seems more like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if I had to guess, it would be a Vier or be an Henri today. It would be a Carlos. It'd be a Mateus. That would be my guess of any of the greats of the game that would be coming. Could be leaked ahead of time. Wouldn't be that big of a deal, except to a couple of those cards, um, Mateus and Roberto Carlos are not in the re-release. That's why I wouldn't mind having some of those as an SBC, because if you want either of those players, instead of having to go to the market and buy them, you might be able to do an SBC. Now, of course, we wish there's more transfer cards. I mean, we could go through and talk about so many different transfer players that we would love to see added to SBCs and objectives. And maybe objectives would be a place that we see one added today because as I'm recording this, a couple hours from now, we are going to have a weekend league reward um objective that is going away footies champions play that was of course the 98 pop and the cordoba that were missing for ages a couple weeks ago finally came into the game here in objectives uh, they're going away today so question is is ea going to replace this with a new champions play objective straight away today at uh, the early content drop or are they going to wait until tomorrow on thursday to drop anything in here because i believe these cards were dropped on a thursday a couple of weeks ago so that's the one thing i do want to mention with that because since we see this going away we expected something to, to replace it there actually might not be something to replace this until next week but just kind of watch out for something here this would be a perfect place kind of like they did with taram this would be a perfect place for ea to throw some new transfer cards in uh to try to spice some things up and make it maybe seem worth playing foot champions but in reality just do the gameplay that you need to do right now. One thing I will say, and I don't know if any of you guys had this problem. I'm pretty sure that my daily play objective did not refresh yesterday. Um, okay, now it did. That's so weird. I was literally just here, and it said that it was completed, and I have not played any games today. We didn't play any games on stream, and I was going to play three squad battles to get my XP. Now I can. That was really weird that it didn't reset, but... I did back out of the game recently, so maybe that's why. Anyways, watch out for a week in the objective today. I'm not expecting a crazy day today, guys. Like, I don't know what's going to come out at the early content drop besides the refresh of the 85 times 10, 86 plus player pick. That's early in the morning. And then at content, new player SBC, new icon player pick. Sorry, new footies player pick is expected. And then the objective, of course. Shouldn't be too much else other than that. Now, before we get into talking about FC25 stuff, there is one quick thing I want to mention about the market. We're probably going to talk this a little bit more in the next couple of days. If you have a footies player from Team 4 or 5, just in case, I know they're dropping a lot already uh, or starting to dip a little bit as you know, more and more people kind of pack these from random whereabout places um, untradeable. You probably would want to think about selling these if you care about your coins at all. I mean, nobody wants to see a card that was once, you know, three mil go all the way down to two million coins in like a day's time. Sure, I get that. It is the end of the game, but we still care about our coins somewhat. So watch out for that because if they do release teams four and five into packs with the re-release on Friday, which I think there's a slight chance of. They might push it back another week, which would be annoying, but they could do that. Uh, this Friday, that would make those prices drop. So that's one thing I did want to mention if you have like Sawa, Drogba, any of those Team 4 or 5 cards. Now, let's talk FC25 because I was not expecting to see this. We've had a lot of ratings leak. We've had a lot of conversation about that. But yesterday, these leakers somehow either got this sent to them by EA, 
through whatever black marketed network leakers have, or they found it in the back end of the code. I still don't understand 100% how all this happens with the leaks and stuff like that. But I do remember that we had official car designs leaked last year in FIFA 23 ahead of FC 24. So this is kind of a usual occurrence, to be honest. Honestly, what this might be and where these leaks might be from is that pitch notes for the launch Ultimate Team update, the launch update for Ultimate Team. It's probably set to come out in like a week or two. And these guys just got the information ahead of time as EA starting to build that material and getting ready to talk about it. That's just the guess. I have no idea, but that's where I could see this coming from. And maybe once we get that launch update, we'll see these car designs be like, ah, yeah, that's where it came from. Anyways, this is the flashback car design that we're going to have in FC25. The flashback design has been pretty similar for the past few years. It's changed a little bit, but I always love it. Like, there's one specific flashback card that I'm thinking of right now. New addition to FC25 back into the game that I want to see. Check Twitter if you want to see who it is. It'll be out by this video, uh, by the time this video is out. That's a car design I love. Now, this one I'm not a huge fan of. This is not a leak. This is just, you know, the car design, kind of a show off of this. The end of an era design. I'm not a huge fan of that. That doesn't look as important as an end of an era car design. The one that we have in this game currently, FC24, I think for like the Tony Cruz uh, looks definitely better than this. Let me pull up the card really quick just to give you a visual memory, jog the memory for a second. Like this car design looks way better. And I remember seeing the end of an era car design earlier on in the year for, I don't even know who it was, Ali Krieger and maybe even Rapino. Like those cards, that car design looks sick. This one, I don't know if I'm really a huge fan of. So I hope this one's wrong, to be completely honest. Uh, but that is the leaked end of an era design there. And then we have some other upgrades here. We've got the man of the match design. This one is a dub. Remember the old days of just the pure orange Fanta cards as we called them? This one's got some sick design to it with some 3D pixels in there. Love that. The pro card design, really interested in that one. Usually those were given to pro players or to actual footballers for their own card is like 99 readers stats. They used to do it back in the day. Interesting to see that one being back because I thought EA stopped giving out cards to pros. Maybe there's some other sort of reason that card design would be added. We'll have to see if they expound upon it. We do have the moments design. That's a good one as well. We've had plenty of moments SBCs in FC24. I like this upgrade of the design there. And then the foundations and dynamic duos are still that similar kind of design to moments, but different colors. So I have no problem with that. Now, this is the big one. This is the big one, guys. It's crazy that we have a winter wild cards design or footmas. I don't know what this is because it says footmas on the bottom and it might be called footmas in the code, but I think it was the same way last year and the promo ended up being winter wild cards. Now, first of all, ignore this Lukaku. This is an AI generated Lukaku. It's not about him. It's about the car design behind him. I just wish they wouldn't have even posted Lukaku or a player on this. Inter doesn't even have the rights in FC25, so yeah, this is wrong, right? I want to see the rest of the car design because from what I see on the side, that looks sick. And it looks like Footmas. The Christmas tree, like the star, we look back onto the old Footmas cards and they had Christmas trees. They had stars on them or like snowflakes, kind of like up here in the top, right? That's more of a snowflake, not a star, right? Uh, an ornament here with the... like. Yo, if they're actually going to bring back Footmas, then we could get excited for it. But I think for right now, it's probably not a good thing to do to get our expectations up that high. It looks Winter Wild Cards colors-esque because Footmas was always red. Um, and Winter Wild Cards has always been green. So we'll see. I like that car design regardless. Whatever promo it's going to be called. I like this car design. I think it's nice. It brings in the Footmas vibes with the trees and the stuff. But, you know, that one got a lot of people excited yesterday for even later on in the year. But it's also, of course, just crazy that we have these leaks so far ahead of time. I forgot, there is one more car design to show you, and it is the showdown design. The base version and the upgraded version. That is the coolest showdown car design that we have had in a while. You can tell that it's more green than like the yellow from FC24 and even FIFA 23 showdown upgrade design but I absolutely love it. It just like electrifies the card. Literally, you see the two plain card designs back and beside each other. The electrification of the green colors and the animation looks sick. So I'm a huge fan of that showdown card. That will be really cool. We have one more leak that I want to look at, which actually I want to bring some honesty to this post because I think there's a bit of misleading that's going on here without him saying it. So 
Guys, this post right here has got a lot of people thinking that he has just leaked the first Evo of FC25 that Darwin Nunez, Colomani, and Rashford are going to fit it guaranteed. Now, this is actually something we've known for a while because EA themselves posted that there is going to be in early access as a part of getting the pre-order and the early access in the Ultimate Edition, we get a 82 rated striker evolution which has a max 82 and it gives power shot plus now the problem is we don't know the other requirements to the evolution last year remember that evo that we had the founders evo at the start there were players like darwin and timo Werner that would fit it and even a rashford baby would have fit it last year if we go back and double check those requirements but there's probably going to be other requirements than just max 82 rated so it is not a guarantee that rashford uh, Nunez or Colomani would fit this evolution. It's just expected based off of the small piece of information that we know right now. So do not believe that these guys are going to fit the Evo. That's just a bit of early information that's kind of taken on a whole nother spin with the rumors. So that's just something I wanted to point out to you guys as that tweet's kind of blowing up and going a bit viral at the moment. But continue to look through the leaks on the Foot Scoreboard app or on Twitter. There's still a lot of ratings leaked that are there and being talked about. And it is very interesting, of course. I feel like for me, though, like we said in the last couple of days, with the leaks of the ratings, official ratings happening so early, it kind of does hurt the hype a little bit because now it's like, okay, we know how high rated these cards are going to be and how good they're going to be, but we can't do anything with it at the moment. And that's a little bit of a frustrating thing, at least in my opinion so i'm gonna do one more 84 times 10 last year just for um a quick yap sasha Bowie. let's get him in here we're gonna pack of footies in this one though it's gonna happen are you ready um lucy bronze in here as well let me just get golds and then a team of the season we're gonna pack of footies in this one also i keep forgetting that lucy bronze is now chelsea and that some of these other gold transfer cards um have been placed in and sometimes i think she's barca and she is definitely not and that's happened to me multiple times as I'm doing 85 times 10s and 84 times 10s. So there's that. I do need a team this season, which I hopefully have. Obviously, I do because I just packed one. Let's get ourselves Mrs. Zellem in here. We'll go with that. We'll go with two more 80 rated and we should be good to go. And it kicks me. Did it really just kick me out of the service right there? Did I get kicked out? Wow. It is uh, it is 10 p.m. Eastern time, and I'm getting kicked out of the service. I'll say this. With the two different content drops that EA have done, I really don't get kicked off the servers anymore. That was just like a phantom thing. Um, I'm sure you guys have... I mean, I haven't heard a lot of you guys saying, yo, I keep getting kicked off the servers. That seems to be something of the past. So that is nice, at least, that they figured out something, whether it is with the split content drop times or maybe just getting later on in the game, there's less people on. It is nice to have that kind of cleared up. So we will just rinse these in here. Quick sell to 84 Sule, because that could be a gold rare and we wouldn't even know. And we'll open this last 84 times 10 nose pack. It's going to be a footies. It's going to be a 97, 8, or 9. It's going to be Dovbik, who's on the flippy flip side. It's going to be another team of the season. We're going to skip it. Another Gurma. So I'll be crafting anything hiding. No way. Wow. Oh, you guys witnessed it. You got. I told you there was something good in this pack, man. Frimpong 99, Gavi 97, and Trinity Rodman. Boom. Let's go. Rodman was one of the 97s that I packed yesterday that I was excited about. Frimpong 99. Aren't you glad you stayed to the end of the video? Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment down below W if you saw the Frimpong pack poll. I will see you guys in the stream today. And you'll be there first to be able to say, Nate, I saw the Frimpong W poll. All right, guys. Love you. Thanks for being in the videos every single day. See you in the stream today. It's been Nate. Vodacount. Catch you there. Peace out.